All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Walking master. Jung Kian uh, is standing on an infinite plane with Cartesian coordinate system on it. In one move, she can move to diagonally a decent point on top right or a decent point on top left. So if she's standing on point x, y, she can either move one point above, like to a point like it is diagonally above, right? Diagonally a decent point on the top right or a decent point on left. So basically, if you are standing at uh, this point in your Cartesian coordinate system, either you can go diagonally up like this, top right, or you can move to a decent point on the left. So these two moves are allowed when you are standing uh, at a given point. Jung Kian uh, is initially standing at point AB and wants to move to point CD. Find the minimum number of moves she needs. Okay, so we are asking for minimum number of moves she needs to make or declare that it is impossible. Fine. So we are asking uh, for minimum number of moves. Right? They are asking for minimum number of moves she need to make or declare. So we are basically at a point, so this question is saying that we are at a point some AB. This question is saying we are basically at a point AB and we want to reach some other point CD. And what is the minimum number of moves? And moves are composed of these operations, either moving diagonally up or just adjacent left, right? Either moving in this direction or in this direction. So what are the minimum number of moves using which you can use, you can go from AB to CD, right? So if such moves are not possible, we can just declare it as impossible, right? So how is the output expected? So anyway, input you have been given ABCD, no issues. But if it is possible to move from point AB to CD, just output the minimum number of moves, whatever moves you have, otherwise just output minus one. Fine, so that's the question. You want to go from point AB to CD and you only have this moves at your disposal, either go either go diagonally up or left, right? And uh, yeah, tell me the minimum number of moves, otherwise just print minus one. Okay, so this question, uh, like, of course, you will know that this question is based on geometry, but since it is an aerated question, so let's try to think about, just try to make some observations, right? So First observation is this is your moves. Fine, so this is your moves. Now here, like this observation, you can straight away make that uh, you can never move down, right? You can never move down, right? So wherever you are in a coordinate system, wherever you are standing, you are not allowed to move down. If you want to move down, a move should have composed of y minus one, right? The y should have been reduced, but it's not there, right? So you are not able to move down. So what does it say? What does it say? It just simply says if your d, if your d is less than b, it's never possible. You can just output minus one, right? You can just output minus one. It's obvious, right? So uh, you can take an example. Okay, if uh, if this doesn't make sense to you, let's say you have two, you are at two five, and you had to go from some, you have to go to some point. Let's say, uh, let's say you are at two five, and you want to go to a point, let's say two three, right? You want to go to a point two three. It's not possible because no move is allowing you to go down. Right, so this is one observation. If d is less than b, you have to print minus one. Right, so in that case, minimum number of moves don't exist. Fine, so not minimum number of moves, you cannot just go from a, b to c, d. Right, so you cannot go down. That's why if this d, the destination, the destination's uh, y y coordinate is less than uh, my initial point y coordinate, then it's not possible because you cannot go down. Right, so that's one observation we made. So this is fine. So we are done here. So now let's see uh, what else. Fine, so you cannot move, go down. So if you are standing here. Uh, if you are standing here, you can go up. So maybe uh, now I'm considering the cases when my destination is somewhere here, maybe here, maybe here, here, here. So now I'm dealing with this. Of course, maybe some destination points on this line as well, right? Now, again, one thing you can observe if the destination point is lying on this line, on the line on which. So I'm saying if the destination is lying here, then what, what needs to happen? Anyway, the x coordinate of the destination, that is c, has to be less than a, right? So that you can observe. Uh, c has to be less than or equal to a, right? Either c is equal or less than. C cannot be greater. So this observation again you can make, right? So okay, what I'm saying is, uh, if let's say you have two five here, then uh, and your destination is also lying on this five because you know it cannot lie below this line. It cannot uh, lie below this line. Uh, this x equals to this y equals to five line, right? So this is y equals to five line. It cannot uh, lie below this. So definitely be it can be either here or above. So if it is exactly on that line. Anyway, uh, the destination C here, so let's say C, D is somewhere here, then C has to be less than E, right? C has to be less than E. So that's one observation again. Okay, fine. So let's take a general case, but let's take a general case. So what is the general case? Is, uh, let's say it lies somewhere above here, right? Somewhere above here. Fine. So we want to consume minimum number of moves, right? We don't want to waste uh, moves. So if moves were, uh, like if you had no bound on moves, what you can do is maybe you can go some left, then some go up, then again left, then so up, and maybe eventually you can reach it. Or maybe you can go some left and then directly reach it. These are the moves. Now, 
fine so we want to minimize the number of moves now hear me out here uh, here's one observation so what the first thing like uh, i solved this question what first thing i thought is okay i want to minimize the number of moves i'm aware of a question uh, grid paths from which if i have uh, if i am at a point so i don't know if you are aware of the that question of grid path so basically in grid path you, you are at some starting point in the cell you are at some let's say 0 0 and you have to reach an, another point mn so what you need to do is you, either you can uh, i guess if i'm not mistaken either uh, you can move i guess in this direction in this direction okay if i'm not mistaken you have only two moves available to you so uh, you have to yeah either you can move down or you can move right only two moves are available to you so whatever it is whatever it is in this question like okay we are i guess going a little bit off topic but the point is uh, there will be some down moves and some right moves right so here i had two options either go down or go right so in the end uh, my if the moves have to be minimized there will be some number of down moves and some some number of right moves so here also moves have to be minimized there will be some number of uh, this move so this is like let's say this is a move of type 1 this is a move of type 2 right so if i want to minimize if i want to minimize what i'll do is i'll first uh, i'll first reach the y coordinate i'll first reach the y coordinate let's say i reached here at the y coordinate and then i can go back to make the x coordinate equal okay i don't think you got it so what i'm saying is let's say you are at a b you are at a b and now i definitely know my point i definitely know my, my point is restriction point is lying above so what i'll do is first i'll reach at uh, y equals to d i'll first reach at y equals to d so maybe let's say this was our destination point so first i'll reach here somewhere right i'll reach somewhere here and then i can go back so why this path ensures the minimum number of uh, moves are uh, this path here ensures that minimum number of moves are taken right the moves will be wasted when will the moves wasted when will the moves wasted when you do something like zigzag you zigzag and then reach then these moves are wasted right instead of doing this zigzaggy pattern you can just you could have just directly reached here and then go back this also this would have been better right this would have been better so that's that so my job is first make this b equal to d okay so how many moves will be consumed here so maybe if i just write an example it will make sense let's say this was 2 5 and uh, i was trying to reach i was trying to reach 7 so how many moves did it consume two moves right so basically uh, this 2 will become what 7 minus 5 2 7 minus 5 2 and uh, 2 plus 2 will be added right so basically <laughs> what happened is you were at this point and uh, you are at this point and you went you performed the move type 1 two times that's what happened here okay so yeah that's that so first i'll try to make the y coordinate same so i'll first first convert d to d okay and then okay let me write it here okay let me write it here so first i have a to b right so i put if i want to minimize the moves first i'll convert it into at first convert b to d if i want to convert b to d if i am here and i want to reach here I'm here if I want to reach here how many uh, like how many moves will be consumed of course I have to go up the move type 1 will be consumed so basically going diagonally up so to this b I'm gonna add basically d minus b right so basically if you have 2 5 and you want to reach some point let's say 7 then you need to add 7 minus 5 2 to it right so basically this will become d and to this a this a also since you are going diagonally up this a also d minus b is added right so that's obvious if you want to like if you want to reach at a particular height x coordinate will also change right so this 5 will change to 7 and this 2 will also change to 4 right because you are at 2 5 you are at 2 5 first you will reach 3 6 and then you will reach 4 7 right so that's why first so if i summarize it summarize it if you are at a b first you will reach a plus d minus b and d right so first you try to match the height now the height is matched so let's say you are at this point and now you are going to try to match the height so let's say at this point the height is matched now where do you think okay so now you are at the same level of the destination you are at the same level of the destination now remember the case of the baseline where uh, the destination was on the same line uh, as the origin so original position basically so if your destination lies here you can definitely reach it you can go back fine if your destination is here itself you can reach it but if a destination is somewhere here you cannot reach it right a destination here you cannot reach it so once you have matched the height once you have matched the height your destination your destination value of x basically the destination value of x right if it has to be here 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 the destination value of x has to be less than the c value it has to be less than a plus d minus b right so first i try to reach the same height i try to reach the same height as the destination 
And now when I'm here, my destination can only lie on this part, right? It can only lie in this part. It cannot lie here. So this C part, the C here, the X coordinate of my destination has to be less than this A plus B minus B, right? This has to be less than, otherwise it's not possible, right? Otherwise it's not possible. So yeah, it has to be less than equals to, right? It's fine, right? So C can be, C can be here also, right? So C can be here also. So in other words, you can say that uh, if C is greater than A plus D minus B, what is A plus D minus B by the way, guys? So A plus D minus B is a new value of uh, my X coordinate when I reached at the same height of my destination. And if C is greater than A plus D minus B, you can never make it. You can never make it. So you can just print minus one here, right? So you can just print minus one here, print minus one here. So in this case, this is fine. In else case, so first, if your point is lying below, you cannot get it. Otherwise, let's try to reach at the same height. Now, when you reach the same height and the new value of your x coordinate, that is a plus d minus b, a plus d minus b is, a plus d minus b is less than, right? So, yeah, a plus d minus b is less than c. So, basically, when you are here, you are here and your c point is somewhere here, somewhere here, right? Somewhere here. So, then it's not possible. a plus d minus b is less than c, then also you have to print minus 1. Otherwise, uh, anyway, you can reach it. Otherwise, anyway, you can reach it now. Now you can reach CD. Right? So, what is the total number of operations consumed? Operations consumed are, first you consumed B minus D operations. Right? So, if I have to write it, first you consumed D minus B because D was above. Right? So, first you consumed D minus B operations. Right? So, after consuming D minus B operations, you came here. And now you have to reach here. So, how many operations will be consumed here? The operation consumed will be A plus D minus B minus C. So maybe if I just sum all it up, it will become 2 times d minus b, 2 times d minus b plus a minus c, right? So if you want to take an example, you can take an example. Let's say you have 2, 5, 2, 5, and let's say I have to reach some point, uh, um, what should I take? Uh, somewhere here, right? So maybe let's just take a point uh, minus 1, minus 1 and uh, minus 1 and uh, yeah, let's just take uh, maybe 8 if it's possible. Uh, I don't know if it's possible or not, okay, but we'll see, guys. So, if it is possible or not. Let's try to first reach 8. So, if we try to reach 8, this will become what? This will become 5. This will become 5. And because like 2, 5, you're going to add 3. So, two. so, this will become 5 and 8. And then, so this, how many operations consumed here? 3 operations consumed here, right? And uh, we have to go in this direction. So, again, it will be 5 minus minus 1. So, basically, 6 operations consumed here. Right, six. So, yeah. Let's see if this. Uh, so basically, it's nine operations. Indian nine operations consumed. Right. So first, you perform three operations of type one, and then six operations of type two. If that makes sense. So maybe if you can plug the values here, uh, but I'm very sure they should work. So just if you want, I'll just plug it. Okay. Don't worry. I'll plug it. So two into d minus b. So this is d minus one. Uh, minus one. So by the way, okay, guys. If you don't know, this is uh, c d, and this is a b. Okay. So 8 minus 5 plus minus, okay, so A minus C, right? So 2 minus minus 1, right? So this is what? 2 into 3, 6 plus 3, 4. Oh. Uh, so I usually don't uh, prefer doing calculations on camera because I might do some silly mistake. But yeah, this works, right? So 9 is there. So fine. So let me summarize the question for you. If the point lies below, it's never possible. But if point lies above, we'll see. We want to minimize the number of operation, right? So first, let's reach the same height at my destination. And when I'm reaching at the same height, uh, this point, the coordinate, the new x coordinate should be, should be, should be what? Greater than equals to my destination, right? So basically, if a destination is greater, if a destination is greater than my new x coordinate, then it's not possible, right? So fine. So let's just see the code. So code is simple. So I didn't, uh, I don't think it's uh, efficient <laughs> to code it live and show you because the code is very small and it's more of a like if you have thought the solution I don't think that's much of the code so here this is the case when your point is down the destination is down so that's why you have to print minus one if your point is not down the new x coordinate the new the new x coordinate uh, is a uh, basically so this is the case where we are checking this is a new x coordinate and your destination is lying somewhere here so then also you have to print minus one otherwise this is the formula right so d minus p first go reach at the destination and then once you have reached the destination uh, reach the destination's height and once you reach the destination's height you will have to consume a plus d minus b minus c so this is why this formula came right so that's the code so code is not difficult right so guys main thing i wanted to understand is this part first you'll have to reach the same height and then you have to go back and so code you can anyway write it out
so yeah uh, that's that uh, thank you for watching if you have any suggestions uh, please leave them in the comment section i will see you in the next one